Well, GW Long High School is going to be looking for a new head football coach. In fact, today, WDHN Sylvie Sparks spoke to the Rebels head coach about his decision to hang up the whistle. Sylvie joins us live in the newsroom. Sylvie, I imagine this was a very tough decision for the man in northeastern Dale County. Mike, a hard decision it was, and it's the end of an era for GW Long football. Head coach Scott Horn is retiring after 12 years. Under Horn's leadership, the Rebels won five region titles and made nine playoff appearances, including competing in two back-to-back -back semifinal games. He has a 96 and 44 record overall, making him the winningest head coach in GW Long history. But if you ask him, that achievement is just a bonus. I hate to get caught up with it being, with wins and losses being the most important thing. There's others where, you know, people I've coached have got married. I've held their kids. I've been at the hospital when their children were born. I mean, that stuff's important to me. And that's, uh, that's just as good as a win on a ball field. While he would have liked to make it an even 100 wins, he believes retiring now is God's will. Coach Horn told WDHN it was a hard decision to make, but he's confident in the Rebels' future. They're going to be successful regardless. The school was successful before I got here, and it's going to continue to be. I mean, it's just the, the tradition here. And I mean, I was just blessed to be part of it. And hopefully, maybe during the time I was here, it's a little better than it was when I got here. That was the goal when I took the job. One of his players believes he achieved that goal. He changed a lot of things and has helped us a lot. And it's translated on the football field. And everybody that plays for him, loves him, and is going to miss him. Because he was just like, some, I mean, another parent to him, you know. He was always good to us. Last season, the Rebels went 9-2, and two, and they're hoping to make an even better playoff run this year. After he retires, Coach Horn plans to spend more time with his family. He says he doesn't know who will take over for him, and he doesn't plan to be involved in the search process.